But first at 5.30, as more people hit the roads this week, state police are cracking down on drunk drivers. And they tell us over the weekend they arrested a man after spotting him driving the wrong way on the highway. And tonight, we're learning just how they were able to stop him in his tracks. It's our top local story at 5.30. Eyewitness News reporter Shante Lanz is live in studio now with more. Kelly and Mike, so far this week, a Providence man has been arrested while driving the wrong way on I-95. State police say this happens too much and that the holidays could possibly make traveling more dangerous. Holiday celebrations and shopping brings on a higher volume of oftentimes more dangerous traffic. Rhode Island State Police say that's exactly what happened on I-95 late Saturday night into early Sunday morning. This after they received multiple 911 calls of a wrong way driver. When it comes out over the radio, it's very scary because you know you're not going to get there uh, right away. Uh, you're hoping that nothing happens between the time that you're trying to catch up to him and the time that you run into him or her. Police say the driver, later identified as 46-year-old Juan Delgado Roman from Providence, was traveling north in the wrong direction in the high-speed lane on I-95 in Providence. We happen to have uh, two troopers on 95 North in the Warwick area. The troopers were riding together when they say they stopped their vehicle, put on flashing lights before standing outside and waving their flashlights. Thankfully, the vehicle coming the wrong way was traveling somewhere between 15, 20 miles an hour. They say they spotted Delgado Roman as he was heading towards them near exit 18, near Thurber's Avenue. He showed obvious signs of intoxication. Troopers gave Delgado Roman a breathalyzer test on scene, revealing his blood content alcohol level as more than three and a half times the legal limit. It's nerve wracking until hopefully you get the vehicle stopped. You're just hoping that it doesn't result in an accident. And state police say that driver has been charged with first degree DWI and reckless driving. He pled not guilty at his arraignment and is out of jail. He's due back in court on January 4th. Live in studio, Shante Lands, Eyewitness News.